हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सुरेंद्र जैन मास्टर टीचर इन वेदांतु आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग यू द सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ जई एडवांस्ड 2019 दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 फ्रॉम पेपर वन दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक वेक्टर्स वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर जई एडवांस्ड इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग वन वेरी सिंपल यूज ऑफ डॉट प्रोडक्ट और क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट टू फाइंड एरिया ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल लेट अस सी वॉट दिस क्वेश्चन इज थ्री लाइन्स आर गिवन बाई आर इक्वल टू लेमडा आई कैप आर इक्वल टू न्यू टाइम्स आई कैप प्लस जे कैप एंड आर इक्वल टू न्यू टाइम्स आई कैप प्लस जे कैप प्लस के कैप लेट द लाइन्स कट द प्लेन एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इक्वल टू वन एट द पॉइंट्स ए कॉमा बी एंड सी रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज डेल्टा देन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सिक्स डेल्टा होल स्क्वेयर नाउ वी कैन टेक पॉइंट्स ऑन दीन दीज लाइन्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेमडा म्यू एंड न्यू लेट दीज पॉइंट्स ए b and c on these lines where they are intersecting this plane as a as lambda comma 0 comma 0 b to b mu comma mu comma 0 and c to b nu comma nu comma nu because these a b c are point of intersection of these line lines with plane so these points should satisfy the equation of this plane so if i put this value of a in this equation we get lambda equal to 1 we get mu equal to half and nu equal to 1 upon 3 very simple to see so we can say your a point would be 1 comma 0 comma 0 your b point would be half comma half comma 0 and c point would be 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3 now to find the area of this triangle let me draw this diagram a b c a is 1 comma 0 comma 0 b is half comma half comma 0 and c is 1 upon 3 comma 1 upon 3 comma 1 upon 3 now to find area of this triangle i am writing these two vectors a b which will be minus half i cap प्लस हाफ जे कैप प्लस जीरो के कैप सिमिलरली ए सी वैक्टर ऑल्सो कैन बी रिटर्न इट वुड बी माइनस टू अपॉन थ्री आई कैप प्लस वन अपॉन थ्री जे कैप प्लस वन अपॉन थ्री के कैप नाउ वी नो दिस एरिया डेल्टा इज एक्चुअली हाफ टाइम्स मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए बी क्रॉस ए सी in fact we need 6 delta square 6 delta whole square which is 36 delta square so it would be 36 into 1 upon 4 so 9 here into ab cross ac whole square now you can find cross product also but we have a shortcut method that is lagrange's identity so we can write this as 9 into magnitude of ए बी स्क्वायर ए सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी डॉट ए सी होल स्क्वायर लेग्रांज इज आइडेंटिटी वन वेरी सिंपल थिंग टू यूज सो नाइन टाइम्स ए बी स्क्वायर इज हाफ होल स्क्वायर हाफ होल स्क्वायर प्लस जीरो स्क्वायर सो इट वुड बी वन अपॉन टू हियर ए सी स्क्वायर इज फोर अपॉन नाइन प्लस वन अपॉन नाइन प्लस वन अपॉन नाइन सो सिक्स अपॉन नाइन दैट इज टू अपॉन थ्री माइनस देर डॉट प्रोडक्ट दिस वुड बी वन अपॉन थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन सिक्स सो दैट इज वन अपॉन टू होल स्क्वायर सो लेट मी डू दिस कैलकुलेशन हियर सो वी गेट नाइन इन टू वन अपॉन थ्री माइनस वन अपॉन फोर विच कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री अपॉन फोर आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन also you can write this as 0.75 so 0.75 is the answer for this question so this is one method i will tell you one more little interesting method for this question let us see what is that uh the lines that are given to us the first line is r equal to lambda i cap so it is nothing but x axis okay the plane that is given to us is x plus y plus z equal to 1 so it will be intersecting x axis y axis and z axis at equal distance from origin 
so these points are actually 1 comma 0 comma 0 you can see by uh, checking x y z intercepts also this would be 0 comma 1 comma 0 and this one would be 0 comma 0 comma 1 okay so this line r equal to lambda i which is along x axis it is going to intersect this plane at this point a only which is 1 comma 0 comma 0 our second line was r equal to mu times i cap plus j cap which should be lying in xy plane and it should also be a bisector of angle between x axis and y axis because i and j have equal coefficients so which means this line will intersect the portion of this plane between uh, this x axis y axis in the plane x y at their midpoint so this point would be 1 upon 2 comma 1 upon 2 comma 0 this point can also be written as p in fact this point is b as per given in the question now there is one more line which is r equal to nu times i cap plus j cap plus k cap because this line is again equally inclined with all the three axes and also our plane is equally inclined with all the three axes so the point of their intersection should be should have all three coordinates to be equal and it would be 1 upon 3 comma 1 upon 3 comma 1 upon 3 and this point is C so in this question we are supposed to find area of this triangle ABC now if I draw this triangle P A and let us call this point as Q so this triangle is equilateral triangle because all lengths A P P Q Q A they all are equal and they are equal to root 2 root 2 root 2 so let us call this as A this P and this Q so in this question what we have obtained midpoint of A P is B here and this C point you can easily make out that it is the centroid of this triangle P Q A centroid means it would be lying somewhere here this point is C so we are supposed to find area of this triangle okay now by geometry we can directly say this area of triangle A B C which is delta here will be one sixth of area of triangle which is equilateral actually a p q why one six because if you join this p with c here so this a c p is one third of the complete triangle and this a b c is half of this a c p so one six of area of triangle a p q so this delta becomes equal to <coughs> one upon six into root three upon four into side square which is root two so root 2 square so we get 6 delta whole square to be equal to 3 upon 4 same as we got in previous method so this is the complete solution of this question i hope you have liked both the solutions thank you so much and stay tuned for more solutions bye